What's up everyone? Welcome back to Conrail's Boston Line. Today I'm going to show you how I've been putting up my photo backdrops. I mounted them to poster board and I taped the poster board together to create one long piece. And then I used some 3M adhesive spray to permanently mount the backdrop to the poster board. And once it's glued together, it gives you a very nice stiff backdrop that you can use. Uh, before I install it, I take a green Sharpie and I color in the very edge of it. I find that this helps hide the transition between pieces. To mount the backdrop, I'm using a double-sided stick tape that's actually a carpet tape is what it's marketed as. Uh, I was originally using like a 3M double-sided stick tape but I found it to be actually too sticky. And if you need to make any changes, it'll literally pull the paint off your wall. So this carpet tape uh, is, it's thicker, which wider, which is nice, um, but it's very, very thin once it's on the backdrop. So it won't show through the backdrop itself. You basically line up, try to hide the seams and you can cut your backdrop to fit. Like you can see right here, I have this beam coming down from my ceiling. So I had to trim the backdrop to go underneath it. And I also found um, sometimes it's better to trim all of the sky away. Uh, like my walls are painted sky blue. So I would trim most of the sky away so that all you see is the trees. Um, but I found with this back backdrop that the sky blue is very, very close to my sky blue. So I wasn't so, uh, so careful trimming the sky off. I'm putting on the tape here and I'm peeling off the backside of it with my tweezers, getting it ready to put the next piece in. And I'm lining it up and just trying to hide that seam the best I can. These backdrops are nice because they come in five foot sections. So that's a, it's a nice long section to put up with, with no seams. And once it's up there, you just wanna lay everything flat, push it together. Now I'm taking the next piece and lining it up again, trying, trying my best to hide that seam in the corner. Uh, it helps if your layout is perfectly level, which mine is not. It'll help the pieces line up better and also uh, line up along your bench work a lot better too. And once the tape is, is on and you have everything where you want it, you push it down and that's pretty much it. Now that the backdrops are in, I'm mocking up a few buildings that I picked up just to get a feel as the trains go by and try to develop the scene a little bit. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching me put up my backdrops. Maybe you learned something. Any comments or questions, please leave it down below. Always, uh, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks again, and uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy the hobby. Take care.